How are you doing today? My name is Terry. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to make for you easy, cheesy shrimp. This is so good. You're going to love it. And your friends and your family, even your kids are going to love this. And now let me tell you what you need. You need two beaten eggs. Now, if you're on a diet and you want to do less calories, you can only do the egg whites. But this is two regular eggs. Then in here I have breadcrumbs. Now I chose Italian breadcrumbs today, but you can either go to the store and buy breadcrumbs or you can make them at home. You can make them different ways by just taking bread and toasting it really well and breaking it all down. And you can do things like add Parmesan cheese, garlic, you want a little spice, you can uh, throw in some cayenne pepper it, it, or whatever actually you really like. If you want it really, really hot, Gumbo it up, gumbo it up. Okay, you're also going to need some cream cheese. Now, for me, today, I'm using the Philadelphia chive and onion one. That's my favorite. Okay, also, you're going to need shrimp. Now, you want them de-banged, de-shelled, de-legged, de-everything, and leave the tail on it because it looks really cute when it's pretty. Because the finished product, look at this. Look at that. Is that just not beautiful? Now that's my big huge shrimps, just so you could see, and I'll show those to you later. But let me show you how this is done. Oh, and this is my Presto maker. Can't live without it. It's quick, it's easy, non-burning, great. Okay, so you want to take your shrimp. Have you ever heard the term butterfly shrimp? This is what a butterfly shrimp looks like. See how it's kind of open? is a butterfly shrimp. Okay, so you want to take your shrimp and you take a knife and you want to kind of cut down the middle of the shrimp like you're putting a little slice like a sandwich. Okay, so it opens up. Now you're going to take your cream cheese and you're going to fill that right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay, now you're going to squish that together with your fingers so it looks like a little uh, shrimp sandwich. Now you're gonna dip your shrimp into your egg yolk. Dip it really good because it makes a really good coating because you want your breadcrumbs to stick. Now into your breadcrumbs, okay, really, really good, just like this, okay? And that's it. Let me do one more for you. Butterfly your shrimp. Add your cream cheese. And you know, Philadelphia has tons of different kinds of cream cheese. They have salmon cream cheese, strawberry cream cheese. My God, they had so many cream cheeses. I was amazed. So you can fill it with any kind of one you want. Or you can add your own stuff to Philadelphia cream cheese, regular or low fat. Okay, so you make a sandwich again. Okay, dip it in your egg. Make sure you coat it really good. Trust me, your cream cheese won't fall out. Then in the breadcrumbs. Mmm, God, I can't wait. And there you have it. That's what it looks like right there. Now make sure, guys, if you're going to work with fish, when you're done, you want to wash your hands. Soap and water, please. Wouldn't want to get any salmonella. Okay, so my hands are washed. Now, I already pre-made some, so I'm going to add these other two right here into my little basket, which is going to go into my little Presto machine. Now, I have this at 325. Oh, can you hear it? The sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. I have mine at 325. I don't like to go any higher than that because sometimes if you go a little higher to that, your fish tends to cook a little too fast and shrimp isn't very good when it's overcooked. So... Let's see how that's doing. Oh my gosh. Smell, smell, smell. <gasps> oh, I can smell the Italian seasonings. Mmm, like Parmesan. Oh, this is going to be so, so good. So while we're waiting for those, let me show you the finished product. This is the finished product. Can you see this? Here's the mango salsa with my roasted tomatoes and peppers and onions 
big chunks of papaya. Oh, you just, you gotta have everything. And then look at these beautiful shrimp. Can you see that? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Now these are extra large shrimp at your market. Okay, you can either use raw or you can use cooked shrimp. Either way it works. So let's check our shrimp, see how they're doing. I think they need a couple more minutes. Mmm. God, the smell. If you can just smell. I know you can't smell, but if you could smell right now, oh my goodness, you would really enjoy this. You know, what, you know your kitchen smells when you make garlic toast? That is what it smells like in my kitchen right now. Somebody just made Italian garlic toast. Okay, let's see how it is. Now you want to make sure when you do your shrimp that they are light golden brown. You don't want them too dark golden brown if you notice my finished products here. You want them a nice golden brown, okay? Wow, they're almost done. Well, here I have some all the way, all the way done. So what you could do is what I like to do sometimes is when they come out, sprinkle them with a little Parmesan cheese. They are to die for. Okay, let's see how they are now. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Golden brown and yummy. Okay, just dump them on out. We can probably pull them out. I can pull them out. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, put that in. Parmesan cheese. And let's just take a little bite. Mmm. Wow, that was so good. Just make sure you don't eat the tail. Mm -hmm. I've done that before. Mm. Wow. That's really good. Well, my name is Terry. I hope to see you soon. From my kitchen to yours, as Paula would say. Have a great day.